All right, for this entry in the Mario Kart Wii CTGP videos, we're gonna be playing as Arfur, who's apparently a baby, but he's a small guy, which means that we can finally play in the standard bike small. Yay for standard bikes, hooray. They're not the best vehicles, but you know what? They're not terrible. They're just pretty average. All right, it looks like today we're on the Ice Bro Cup, and we've got Crystal Plains, Underground Sky, DSDK Pass, and GBA Snowland. All right. Looks like we've got quite a few ice courses in store for us, so let's just take a peek and see how they do. I guess the first two don't have to necessarily be ice themed, but the latter two are, so definitely be interested to see what unfolds. We got Crystal Plains. This looks like a nice course. We got the nice, we got the wheat waving in the wind. We've got a night nearby town. Oh, a giant pulley system for the wall. Oh, oh, this reminds me of like the wall they're building in The Secret of Kells. Okay, all right. I like the look of this. It's time for Arthur to... Wow, that bike looks surprisingly big for Arthur. Let's just have at it. Oh, and we get the Moo Moo Meadows music, too. Now this is my kind of ride. Okay, we got the fountain in the middle. Oh, wow. Hey, I am surprised I didn't get the mini turbo. And All right. You know what? That's fine. It, this is a learning process. Ooh! It's like a diamond mine. That's really cool. It's like what Shy Guy Falls should have been. Oh! Got the rickety old bridge. Oh boy, Thundercloud. Let's see if I can pass this off to whoever's ahead of me. How the heck did they make the turn that well? Even with an inside drift vehicle. Okay, that's kind of cool how they've got the cranes that are moving the boost panels. That That's really creative. Alright, thus far, I like what I see. Oh my god, that was really cool. That was really cool. That was great. Oh man, I really like this course. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Windmill Plains mixed with uh, Shy Guy Falls. In the best of ways, okay. Some of these turns maybe are a little unfriendly to outside drift vehicles. Which, that's always a point of criticism I will have. Really? Only two laps, that makes sense. It's a pretty long level. Okay, can we make a jump over the... Yeah, we can. Alright, I'm gonna... Probably should have saved this, but... I just figured we were probably getting a shrink happening at some point. Because we haven't had one yet, and I wanted to use it. Lest I lose it. Use it or lose it. <laughs> hey, Dry Bowser. Oh, he's in the jet setter. That ain't gonna work out too well. Alright. I guess they maybe just didn't drift at that part in order to make the turn so well. Sweet. And another one bites the dust. The vehicle travels a little bit uh, longer when you start the drift, so that's something you gotta keep in mind. Okay, I'm right behind first place, and first place is in a slower vehicle. Quacker's pretty slow, so if I play this well... Make that green shell sound. Come on! Yes! Last second pass, eat it, baby peach. Okay, I actually, I really like that level. That was a very great start. I like the, the nice town levels where you kind of weave in and out of the town and the nearby countryside. That Those are always fun. Just a small town girl and all that. All right, now we've got underground sky. Okay, you just mean underground. All right. Looks like there's a lot here. Wait, I might have played this level before. I think this is a really long one lap or one or two lap course. With some crazy turns. Yep, two laps. Okay, I'm trying to remember if this course was pretty fun, really bad, or somewhere in between. I can't remember. Alright, Keen Boo. There's no need for that. Okay, this is... 
definitely a course that was designed specifically for inside drift vehicles. Not a fan of that. Like I said, if you're making a course for CTGP, I think you should be able to test it out and make sure you can race it even if you're in the jet setter. Okay, that's kind of weird, but I'll take, um, okay, well that's not okay. You literally couldn't see that gap until it was too late. So I'm calling foul on that one. I am also calling foul on some of these turns. I probably should have waited until after. Oh, yuck. Yeah, look at that. There's no way you'll ever make that turn unless you're in an inside drift vehicle. And no, it's coming up. Okay, see... Gold mushrooms are good, but only if you're in a position where you can actually use them. Oh, got an extra power-up, though. I'm not getting stuck on the wall, Arthur. Okay. So my impressions are not a huge fan of this course. Darn it! And Donkey Kong didn't shrink because he had fallen off. I mean, bad for him, I guess. All right, Boo. You're a big thorn in my side. Uh oh. You know what? I will go on the half pipe. To wow, really? Missed all the power ups. Okay, this is the part where it has the invisible pits. King Boo! You, there are like 50 cars in front of you, but you throw it backwards just to hit the one human player. I don't like you. Okay. I am not tricking off of this. Oh my goodness. See, again, I freaking hate the half pipes. Half pipes are always bad. Yeah, okay. Don't like that course at all. It had some cool, like, graphics and settings, but that was not a fun course to race on. Yet I'm still somehow in second place. But ba what the heck, Baby Peach? So she won first on this course, and everybody else did badly. So great. Baby Peach is now just pretty much unbeatable. Okay, so we get we have one strike. But hey, some of the CTGB courses are, are not- they can't all be winners. Some of them are losers. This is, okay, now we've got the retro tracks. DS, DK Pass. I like this course. Let's see how well it plays with Mario Kart Wii physics. Why are there so many heavyweight characters in the Jet Setter? And how are they causing me this much trouble? It also really feels like the CPUs are targeting me with things like, Oh, I'm going to toss the red green shell behind me instead of trying to pass other people by hitting them with it. Take that, Dry Bowser. Oh, yes. If I can take out Baby Peach, that's, that's the way to go. But she's my main competition, so I need to knock her down several places if I want to pass her in terms of points. So far, so good. And the, the official Nintendo tracks that have been remastered are, generally speaking, on average, higher quality than the new courses. Not always. There are some brand new custom tracks that are incredibly good. And some of them which are a little on the sneaky side. Okay, maybe Peach is in, like, fourth place. Ah, yes. Was wondering when those were going to start appearing. Peach. Oh no! Oh, come on! I'm starting to remember why I never picked the standard bike small. It's okay, but if, the, if you ever have to zigzag, it turns weird. And just as it so happens, this cup has been full of tracks that require you to zigzag. Zigzag drifting, particularly. And yes, I definitely 
intentionally hit Baby Peach with the red shell to make sure that she was dropped down some places. Okay. I'm gonna let Boo just get shrunk by that. Then we can pass him up and start chucking the red shells at the other players. A fake power up in fourth. Alright. I gotta catch Bowser Jr. I really need to get first place after that last track. And I can take the turns a little bit tighter than he can. I really feel like you should have been able to trick at that part. Oh, come on, game! The instant I get in first place, Derek better summon a blue shell to knock him out. How did I go that far and hit the wall? Okay. Baby Peach, I think, won fourth. Yeah. Okay, so she still gets a d decent bit of points, but that definitely helps me catch her. So as long as I beat Baby Peach this next race, I should win overall. And next race is GBA Snowland, so will this be the Mario Kart 8 version of Snowland, or will it be based on the original? Okay, this definitely looks like it's based on the original. Actually, it looks much more like they completely revamped this track and did their own thing with it, which I think is really cool. So, like, they took the overall shape of Snowland, but they gave it their own touch. I actually think this looks great. This might... If it races as good as it looks, this could end up being even better than the Mario, the official remake on Mario Kart 8. Deluxe, that is. Okay, uh, that was a little weird where that dropped. Is that freaking Baby Peach? No, that's Baby Peach. Excuse me, Baby Peach did not make contact with that box, but still somehow swiped it. Yes, please go ahead, Bowser Jr. It looks like there's a no shortage of shortcuts here, so... That better not be Baby Peach right behind me. No way Baby Peach is faster than me. She's in the slowest little guy vehicle. I'll teach you to cheat at the game. That's apparently a gap in the ice, not a path. Oh, but I shot Dodge Bug. Some... Diddy Cone, was that you who dro targeted me with the bob bomb Just to kick me while I was down. Okay. Baby Peach is not in first, it's Bowser Jr., but Baby Peach is still randomly given the max speed stat, even though she's in the Quacker. Quacker, I think, is supposed to be the single slowest vehicle in the entire game, so it makes absolutely no sense why she's racing this fast. That red shell almost hit me! Are you guys seeing this nonsense? Green shell, so help me if you hit me. Uh, yeah, your red shell nonsense is not gonna be <laughs> working out here. Oh, dang, that's a crazy shortcut you can take at the end there. Although, I guess that's there in the Mario Kart 8 version as well. I didn't realize that the <laughs> the finish line was that far away, but with a first place victory, that means we win first overall. No thanks to Underground Sky. All right. Three out of four tracks were great in that cup. So I guess overall that cup gets a check mark for me, but Underground Sky should probably be either revamped or taken out of CTGP. 
that's my humble opinion. I got a rank C, no surprise there. Let's go to the next cup. You know, it's been a while since we've been my man DK. Yeah! DK's gonna be in the last vehicle we have yet to use in CTGP, the standard bike large. Yeah, it's basically the same vehicle, just for a different weight class. So sue me. Alright, we're now on the Gold Flower Cup, where we've got Vile Isle, Crash Team Racing Engine Labs, Mystic Tangle, and White Garden. Engine Labs is possibly my favorite course from Crash Team Racing, so I'm excited about that. No idea what the other courses are going to be. All new ones, so hopefully two out of three are good. If we can get one that's amazing, one that's like passable, and one that's like kind of bad, like I'll, I'll accept that. Vile Isle. Wow, I love the overcast on that. It looks pretty, looks pretty cool. I like the lighthouse, I like the ghost ship. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of the actual racetrack, which makes me a little concerned. But it's okay, we're our we're best boy Donkey Kong. Which means, surely, we're gonna have something fun. Ooh, and we get N64 Bowser's Castles music. That definitely seemed like it was the longer way to go. And yet again, it seems like it's another turn that's only balanced through inside drift. Oh, I like the Jolly Rogers inside of the power box, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bowser, I think I'll just let you go ahead so I don't get crushed. All right. I like the look of this level. This, this seems pretty awesome. Really? I swear the instant I get in first place, they just spawn in a blue shell to hit me. I will say it's a little difficult to see where you're going inside the cave. Like, I'm playing on a TV with increased brightness, and even I could barely make out where to go. So, uh... Always, always be aware of that. Or, like, right there. Like, jeez. <laughs> Dark against dark is, uh, it's hard to make out. Otherwise, though, the actual shape of the track, pretty fun. I like the Skull Goombas. So, like, this, I guess this map is supposed to be, like, Treasure Island or something, where we're looking for the Pirate Skull. Like, yeah, the off-road there looks exactly the same as the main track. Like, yeah, you can't drift around that. Okay. Wow, we have a breakaway, though. Even after getting smashed by that blue shell. Yeah, so the actual, like, track shape, pretty great. There's the one, like, zigzag in the cave that's kind of bad. But take that out, I really like the actual race of this. It's just, you, and you need to light up some of those darkened areas and... Make the off-road stand out a bit more when you're inside the cave. Otherwise, it, yeah, it's a good track. I'm also glad it's not using the Ghost Valley 2 music, because, uh, that track sucks. Anytime Ghost Valley 2's music appears, I will just be pumping in my own music over it. Oh, darn it. Yeah, see, it looks like you should be able to drive on that part. I guess not. Wow, the CPUs just apparently do not know how to drive on this. Because even I, even I don't know how to drive on this, and I'm like, look at this. I'm like half a lap ahead. Not quite. The laps are decently sized, but. All right. You know what? I'd say overall that was pretty great. Just a couple of minor issues that should be tough, touched up on. Otherwise, that was really fun. I did indeed appreciate that. Well, shoot, I hope the other two uh, custom levels are of similar quality, because overall, I think that was really good. All right, Engine Labs from Crash Team Racing. Yes. I'm trying to remember all of the tracks that I've played in Crash Team Racing. I don't think I've played all of them. This one does is a standout to me. It looks really cool. Now, what music are they going to pump in here? Toad's Factory. Come on, it has to be Toad's Factory, right? Oh, yes. I'm not going to get tricks over these ramps because a lot of them seem like... Oh, that's a cannon, apparently. 
A lot of them seem to be a little on the, uh... A lot of those boost ramps seem to lead right into very tight turns. Oh, yes! That's... okay. I get it, you're just taking in an already existing truck! But my... Okay, that doesn't work in Mario Kart Wii. And how are the CPUs racing through this so well? They couldn't go through Vile Isle worth crap, but here in, like, a significantly more difficult map, Engine Labs, they're like, oh, I can race on this perfectly. Like, for that one, I drifted as soon as I possibly could, and it still wasn't enough. Okay. Maybe Engine Labs doesn't translate well over from Team Racing to Mario Kart Wii. At least we got Toad's Factory for, like, the first time. Oh! That's one of the first times I've ever dodged a blue shell of a mushroom in this game. Oh, that, was, that felt pretty hype. <gasps> that was a little too close. Okay. Ugh. Like, that part right there, the ramp, like, blatantly throws you into the wall. Like, I, is there any way you can possibly get through that without... Without getting tossed into the wall? Ow. I'm also pretty sure red shells are not going to work at all on this level. Alright, I'm going to drift all the way back here. Okay. Wow, you have to drift, like, so far in advance to get around these. Okay. Maybe you just got to plan your drifts properly. Ooh. Or maybe you just have to use an inside drift vehicle. Alright, Yoshi. Don't know why you inhabit DK's... But Wow, when did I get that breakaway? The CPUs were racing so flawlessly earlier, and now they're like, Oh no! I love this. I love the board, the tube right there. That looks so cool. All right, no mushroom to bail me out this time. I like that part with like the toxic barrels. Okay. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, we're playing Mario Kart Weep. Is that my banana peel? There's no way that should still be there. After 11 other racers drove past that part. Okay. I still like Engine Labs. It works a lot better in Crash Team Racing than it does in Mario Kart Wii. That's one of the, I felt like I needed all three laps to actually kind of figure out how to race through that course. So, definitely not very newbie friendly, especially if they've never played Engine Labs before. But ultimately, I think it does work. It's just a really, really high skill ceiling. <laughs> you gotta really plan out in advance when you're going to drift, when you're going to trick, and when you're not. I'd say that's still like an alright course. Mystic Tangle. Ooh, so I, I love the overall look of this. You got the, oh, the forest with the mushrooms in it. Oh, it's like an enchanted forest. This looks pretty cool. Alright, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go, Rocky Bob! <laughs> Tight turn right out of the gate. Oh boy, we get the G DK Jungle Parkway music. Okay, a lot of 90 degree turns here. Minimap's gonna be our friend. Okay, so we go over this, then we're gonna have to turn right. Thus far, I like what I see. Just don't put in bouncy mushroom parts, and we should be good. I don't see any bouncy mushrooms on the minimap, so... This is beyond parody. Cool, with the blue shells already. 
Oh look! Look at that! I don't know why Baby Peach keeps being such a little twerp. I also don't know why Bloopers stopped by when nothing bad happened to me. He was late! I gotta be careful dropping my banana peels because apparently only I will actually hit them. Like right there! Actually, I can't remember if I was the one who dropped that banana peel or not. Oh, but I felt like it was a tighter turn than it was last lap. Or maybe I fell last lap as well. I No, I got hit by a blue shell. So I was going at a lower speed, that's why. Okay. If Bowser's my main competition, I'm way cooler with that than with Baby Peach. Because Baby Peach just, it's like, why are you even in Mario Kart? You were in, like, literally... Okay, technically she was in two games. She's got more of a right to be in this than Baby uh, Daisy. But that's also a very low bar. Baby Daisy was not in any official Mario game. Like, Baby Donkey Kong would have been a better choice. Baby Donkey Kong has actually been in a variety of games. Unlike some babies I know. Is this a shortcut or is it going to be a long cut? We'll never know. <laughs> All right, I think that course was pretty well done. I really like the uh, the forest part of it. The cave at the end was pretty interesting. Oh, I give that a pass. I think that was a pretty solid course all in all. Let's see if the last one can hold a candle. Honestly, even if the last one's kind of bad, it's more fine. White Garden. Doesn't look like a white guard. I mean, there's white bricks. I mean, okay. Interesting. A lot of 90 degree turns, which I'm not a super big fan of. Oh, we can make it work. White. Oh, okay. That's a pretty nice uh, holographic effect. Oh my gosh, look at those turns. Yeah, I'm not tricking off of that. <laughs> okay, Piranha Plant's got more range than I thought. Hey, Toad, how did you knock around a literal gorilla? I also note the, the Pikmin flowers that are inside all of the uh, power-ups. I like that. That's a nice touch. Dude! Dry Bones is going on a... No, it's not Dry Bones. It's, it's Koopa Troopa. You know what? I respect it, Koopa. Wowie zowie, wow. Those piranha plants, man, they've got range. Not sure why that red shell decided to stop, but I'll take it. Good job, Blooper. Bloopers are basically useless on this course due to all the boost panels. That's the thing about boost panels. They're fun to race over, but they also make it harder to catch up to the first placer, because if the first placer gets hit, you can generally hit the boost panels. It also means that things like red shells will take longer to reach you. Oh, I want to see if I... Oh my gosh! Why does that just make you boost really, really far? Once again, the POW block does nothing. Very glad that that's not in the game anymore. By the game, I mean just Mario Kart in general. All right. I kind of like this course. It's a lot of tight turns, but they're not unfair. And the design is fairly simplistic, but it works. Feels like we're in, like, a kind of botanical gardens. Which I'm a fan of. 
Alright. It's not up here, it's this next turn. I wanna go up here. Uh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love that alternate cut. I'm not sure if that's actually faster, but it, I love it when they put in, like, alternate routes like that. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um, I, wow! So the free custom tracks in that were actually all pretty solid. It was Engine Labs that I had the most issues with. But all in all, that was a pretty great cup. I I enjoyed all, all four of those courses. Engine Labs a little less, so. It took some getting used to, but I got there at the end. And wow, that's a perfect score for us. Yay! Two stars! How gracious. You know, I probably would have gotten three stars if I hadn't hit the off-road so much on that first track. But, what you gonna do? That's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll do two new cups uh, next time. And at this point, I can be whatever character or cart combo I want. Because we have played as every character and every vehicle, so... That'll be cool. I can just play in all my favorites from now on. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.